Guys, this is video number two on uh, period. So um, we have a question um, that is a typical question for finding the period of motion. Let's say it takes a uh, time of 50 seconds for an object to travel around a circle five times. So let's say it takes 50 seconds for it to travel around a circle, here's our circle, five times, so five full um, revolutions. So the question is, what is the period of its motion? Um, this is simple because we know that the period equals the time it takes uh, divided by the number of times. So the period in this case would be 50 seconds over five times, and the answer would be a period of 10 seconds. So that just means it takes 10 seconds for that to go around that uh, circle once. Okay, so that's a simple uh, period question um, that gives us an idea of what the period of motion is of that object. Okay, let's take a peek at a second question. Um, it says, if a runner can make a full trip around a small track in 90 seconds, how much time would it take to complete six loops of the track? Okay, so uh, I wrote T is 90 seconds, but after reading a little bit further in, uh, it says, how much time would it take to complete six loops of the track? So this one is our period because it takes 90 seconds to go around once. We're looking for little t. So again, here's our period formula. We're solving for little t. So I will just take and multiply both sides by n. Okay, so there's a new formula for you. Uh, period times the number is going to be the time so uh, that it takes for the total uh, the total activity. So um, my period is 90 seconds. The number of times it says is six. Okay, so our answer is 540 seconds to go to do that activity. Okay, so there's two questions on period. Uh, we'll get on to a couple more later on.